Hello and welcome back. Now let's continue with our error handling here. And of course we're going to need this kill switch. So I'll just copy this again. Alright. And now we're going to our update user here. So update user and update products. We want to go to update user first. And before we insert a user, alright, we want to check if the username has been entered. Alright, so if user actually we want to check everything so it's to say if first is equal to nothing or oh wait a minute what we want to check is if the user has been entered all right the user has to be entered the first and the last and everything else can be skipped all right so if user is equal to nothing then we want to notify all right otherwise if the user has been entered we want to check if that user is a valid username all right so we want to say we are going to say users all right so self good users good find one find one right there and what do you want to find we want to find the username which belongs to this user, all right? The user entered by the user right here, all right? And we're going to call this one user, and it's going to be equal to that one, all right? Simple enough. Now let's go here, and what we want to check is if we got that user, all right? So we'll say if user is equal to none, which means we didn't get a user, the user. The user using this program right now entered an invalid username. So what we want to do is again add our kill switch here and our notify. Tap this in, and we want to change the message to invalid username. All right. So here we want to change this to invalid user name, just like that. All right. Otherwise, if everything checks out here right which means we have a valid username then we also want to check if anything else was empty all right so if first is equal to nothing all right so if the first is equal to nothing then we are going to say first is equal to user and that the first name of that user all right so first underscore name so what we're doing is basically we are going to leave everything as it is all right so i'll just go here and i'll copy all of this now paste it down here paste it down here and paste it down here and of course change this to last so if so if the last name wasn't entered then the last name is going to be what the last name was before all right so we're just changing this to last and if the user okay the user cannot be changed it the user cannot be changed sorry so we're going to change this and this is going to be password if pwd is equal to that then we're going to change this to password All right, and I believe we have everything we need, so we'll just remove this. All right, now that we have that, we can now update our users. All right, so just like that, we've now updated our users. Control S to save, and now let's go to our products. So what I'll do is again copy this notify, because I think I overwrote this. So I'll just copy this. Go here. All right, and we'll say if code this time is equal to nothing. And what do we want to do? We want to add that. And this time we'll say invalid username, invalid code, sorry invalid 
code like that and everything is great now if we got a code mm, this is not supposed to be invalid this is supposed to say code required at least all right and now here if the code was entered then we want to say the code Mm, we'll say target code all right so target underscore code is equal to self dot products dot find one and we want to find the product code which is the code all right so that will be the target code. So now we'll say if target code is equal to none, we want to, whoops, we want to paste in our notify again, tap this in and change this now to invalid code. invalid code all right and now that we have that let's go down here and see if the code is actually valid okay i'll scroll this we want to check if we got everything so if products name is equal to nothing then what we want to do we want to say product name product name is equal to our target code and product name all right and now I'll simply copy this again paste it a few times and go back to changing stuff so this is going to be weight And this again is going to be weight and I may have forgotten to change these so this is going to be weight and this is going to be in stock in underscore stock what did we call this one we call this stock all right so this is going to be the stock and stock here and this is supposed to be name and this is name again all right and this is going to be after stock we have sold i believe so this is going to be sold as well and sold here then this is going to be purchase and purchase here this will be last purchase all right and what else what else stock sold order all right we need order so order here and order here again and this is going to be order again all right control us to save and i believe we are done now what we need to do is i think let me check here first last and here everything is great and this time here everything is great as well so now that this is done let's tap these in all right so tap this in just like that all right and i believe now we are officially done all right so control us to save this now let's run this so i'll just say 
Python 3 admin.py and I'll say manage products manage user all right and adding a user now if we don't put anything we have an error message but now the screen gets cleared as well all right we don't want that so what we want to do is go back to our add user which is right here all right and we are clearing so this is okay if code is equal to that is equal to that and strange all right so it's right here on update user we only want to clear this oops we want to clear this only if we have valid everything all right so right here as well and i believe now it should work great so let's check let's check and here it's okay and here it's okay as well all right control us to save and run this now all right now update a user update and we have that but now this is still getting cleared all right unfortunately we are out of time we are going to be fixing this in the next one so any questions comments leave them in the questions section like and share this video if you liked it and definitely check out the udemy course the link will be in the description